In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the song You've Already Won by Shane and Shane. It's in the key of D flat. Easiest way for us to get there is to put a capo on the sixth fret. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to play chords in the key of G. So we only need four chords for this song. Uh, the first chord we need is this G chord. And then the C add nine, the C chord. And then we need the D chord, which I'll probably do this one. Might add that little D major in there every once in a while, but either this one or that one. And then the E minor. So if you want to play along with them, with, with the recording, put the capo on the sixth fret and play these chords. If you want to sing it, if you want to lead it, you might sing it in a different key. You might sing it, if you're a guy, maybe you sing it a little bit lower. I feel like he, they've got a little bit, of, he's got a high voice, so maybe you just take the capo down one or two frets or three frets, and that way you can still play these same chords and everything I'm about to show you. Um, you can just do it in a key that's more suitable for, for, your, for your singing and your voice. So um, the song is in 6-8 timing. Uh, you don't really need to know what that means. Um, just we're going to be counting to six. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And th there's one strum pattern that I'm going to show you. I'm going to teach you. You can do it for the entire song. Um, so let's, uh, let's jump into the strum pattern and then we'll jump into um, the intro and we'll get into the song. So this is the strum pattern you're going to use for the entire song. You can use a different strum pattern if you want, but if you don't know where to start and you need a strum pattern, this is a good one. It'll get you through the whole song. So. So I'll slow it down. So. You can use that strum pattern literally for the entire song. Also, I did a lesson a while ago on um, other songs that are in the key or the the time signature of six eight. Um, I'll put a link for that. I'll put the um, link for that video up on the screen. I also go through a different strum pattern in that video. I think it's just just um, kind of like this, just up down, up down, up down. So if you need some more help or you need some more um, some more options, you can also watch that video. Um, and see um, see what I teach in there. All right, so um, just the layout of the song. We'll go through the intro. Um, there's four verses. Um, all the verses are the same chords, so we'll just go through verse one. Um, there's uh, two choruses, and then there's two different bridges. Um, so we'll go through those at the end too. So there's a lot of pieces to this song. If you do need the chord charts, I have the chord charts for um, for this song, you can you can print them off, you can download them into a PDF, make some notes, whatever you need to do. Um, I have those on my Patreon page, so um, the link for that will be in the description. I also pin it um, as a comment on this video. But um, but yeah, if you need the core charts, definitely go there. I'll have um, everything downloadable on my Patreon page. So the intro, it's gonna sound like this. doing that same strum pattern. So there's that lead line, it's either the piano or the electric guitar. Do, 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 that outlast darkness. So that kind of flows right into verse one. 
So let me show you the, um, I'll just sing through and play through verse one and then we'll kind of break it down. There's peace that outlasts darkness, hope that's in the blood. There's future grace that's mine today, that Jesus Christ has won. I'll sing verse two. So I can face tomorrow, for tomorrow's in your hands. All I need you will provide Just like you always have I'm fighting a battle So that'll go right into the chorus. We'll go through that transition in a minute. So that verse, we'll just go back to verse 1. So I'm just doing that same strum pattern. There's peace that outlasts darkness Hope that's in the blood This future grace that's mine today That Jesus Christ has won So now I'll play it without singing it There's All right, so I'm going to sing through that entire verse, and I'll probably do the second verse, and then I'll go right into the chorus so you can see what that transition looks like, too. So well, I'm going to just do this coming right out of that second, um, the second chorus, or the second intro. Do, do. There's peace that outlasts darkness Hope that's in the blood There's future grace that's mine today That Jesus Christ has won So I can face tomorrow Tomorrow's in your hands all I need you will provide Just like you always have Of course, I'm fighting a battle So that kind of goes right into the chorus on that I'm fighting a battle Right on the C chord So let me show you what the chorus does And if you are singing this uh, I, I mean, I would definitely sing it higher Sing it, you know, sing it a little bit louder um, in the octave above, I'm just gonna keep it nice and um, nice and nice and just low, just because it's easy on this chorus. So just an FYI, if you're a singer, vocalist. Um, so the chorus: I'm fighting a battle, and you've already won. No matter what. back into that intro chord progression um, right at the end of that chorus. So let me just, I'll, I'll sing through the chorus one more time, or actually I'll play through it one more time without singing, um, and maybe slow it down a little bit, and then I'll play it again singing, um, so you have a, uh, an idea. So I'm fighting a that you've already I 
will never come to know what you're due. But I know. So you might have to check, I don't know if it does that intro chord progression twice in between the chorus and the, the third verse, but um, yeah, maybe just double check on that. But then that goes right into uh, verse three. Verse three is the same as the first few verses, same chord, same strumming. Then it goes to verse four, same as verse three. And then it goes to the chorus again plays the chorus, and then we'll get into the bridges here. Um, so there's two bridges. Uh, the first bridge here, it's just gonna go from the G to the C to the G. Or you can do G, G sus, G. Either one works. So, and I know how the story ends. my savior, my defense, no more fear in life or death. So that rolls right into bridge two, and bridge two is going to be the same, uh, same lyrics, just a slightly different chord progression. So um, it's going to go start out the same way I know how the story ends we will be with you again you're my savior my So that goes to bridge two again. Um, so it's going to be the same chorus. There's just a, ver a tag um, on the end of that second, on the end of the bridge, the last time we do it, if that makes sense. So bridge one, we go through that one time. Bridge two, we go through that. Just simple, nothing crazy, kind of still building. And then we do bridge two again the second time. This is where, you know, like, you know, you would really jump up singing vocally and really high energy. So um, that, we're just doing the, set, the, the bridge to the second time through with the tag on the end. So, I know how the story ends. We will be with you again. Really cranking it here. You're my savior. That goes right into the chorus again. So that tag, you're just you're just doing the C to the G. No more fear in life or death. I know how this story ends. I'm fighting a battle. So let me just play through all of those um, those three bridges. Um, and then get back into the chorus, and then that way just you have a feel for the transitions in between the bridges and the kind of the flow. All right, so bridge one. I know how the story ends. We will be with you again. You're my savior, my 
Into the bridge, too. Here, I know how the story ends. We will be with you again. You're my savior. So that's the, um, the the last tag cut out on me there. Um, but that's pretty much how you go from bridge one uh, to bridge two to bridge two again, and then back into the chorus. So uh, I think it ends with one chorus and then that's it. So that shows you how to play the song. Again, if you need the chord charts, there's four verses for this song, a couple of choruses, three different bridges. So if you do need the chord chart, um, I'll have it on my Patreon page. I'll link that down below. Um, so check that out. You can print it out, um, download it, put some notes on it, strum patterns, builds, arrows, all kind of stuff if you want to. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions on this. Um, I hope it helps you out. I think it will. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Love you. Bye.